Next surgery is at seven. Oh, oh yeah. We're just on our way home. I've got something to say. Well, tell you. Couldn't it have waited? I need to get it off my chest, and I didn't want Donna to hear either. What's up? I've done something that I'm not very proud of. I haven't got your deposit money, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to give it to you. I was hoping to have it back by now. Get it back? From where? I'm so sorry, Kelly. Well, who's got it? It's my fault. Well, tell us. I lent it to Scott. <laughs> you what? I'm sorry. My money? You gave my money to Scott without even asking? He needed it to set up his business and, well, things just took longer than he planned. Look, I know I shouldn't have. And, of course, you're very welcome to stay at home as long as it takes. He used it to buy that car, didn't he? You honestly think we want to spend another minute with you and that scumbag son of yours? He's your brother. The only one I care about is Donna. And pity her because she's stuck with you. I've been trying. It's been so difficult since your dad died. Do you think I don't know that? If he could see what you've done now... Still, it wouldn't bother you, would it? You couldn't care less about him. You never did. You wanted him dead. No! Kelly, this isn't helping. <gasps> she did. You never stopped nagging him. You even had that affair with Terry. You tried to turn Dad against me. I didn't. And now he's gone, you've stolen my money. Ugh, I've always hated you. Now everyone can see what a thieving, lying bitch you are. Ugh. I wish my dad could. Kelly, just calm down. It's not doing any good. You can't make me feel any worse than I do now. Can't I? Oh! <laughs> <laughs>